healing process in our body. We're actually made of 60% water. So water does everything from lubricate our skin and keep us hydrated to lubricate our joints and our tissues and our organs. It also keeps our core temperature the way that it should be. But I think most importantly, water helps our blood flow. So that's what gets our nutrients from A to B. When we eat a nutrient, the water helps our blood move it to our brain and to our heart and to all of our organs and tissues. When we don't have water, that's where we can start to see some of these things fail and break down some of these systems. So there's a reason we can go two to three weeks without food, but we can only go two to three days without water. Um, that's when all of our organs start to break down. And most people think of dehydration as this end point when we are no longer surviving because we haven't had water for days. But no one really thinks about this day-to-day -day kind of partial dehydration where we're drinking enough to survive, but not enough to optimally thrive. So that's where we're getting symptoms like dry, leaky skin, um, or feeling maybe excessively cold, or possibly having tight joints that that hurt a little bit. People with chronic fibromyalgia and arthritis sometimes have symptom relief simply by drinking more water. Um, but again, with that blood flow, if your blood can't move to the brain as much as it should and bring nutrients up to the brain as much as it should, then because of lack of water, you're going to experience symptoms like fatigue, excessive, excessively being tired, or what my clients describe as foggy brain, where you're just not able to really pay attention the way you feel like you should, or you're having some forgetfulness, um, just not quite alert. Same thing with the heart. If the blood can't get to the heart because of lack of water, then you're gonna have low blood pressure and symptoms of, of heart disease. Um, a lot of people who don't drink enough water have poor immune systems, so they're more likely to get sick. You're also going to have symptoms like excessive weight because you're not only eating more because your body is not getting the signal of satiation from, from the water, but also we eliminate toxins, and excess cholesterols and fats and sugars from the body. And if you don't have the water to flush it out, you'll reabsorb it and store it as a fat cell. So these are all symptoms of not drinking enough during the day. So the clients that I work with laugh because we have a repeated mantra that is drink water like it is your job. It is your job to drink water. It's not a matter of wanting to drink water, it's a matter of needing to. So it's really nice to have tools in your life such as the hydrate water bottle that remind you of this. It's that visual cue that's sitting there every single day reminding you of what your job is. It is your responsibility to drink water and to help your body thrive.